This hack tip is brought to you by Carbonite. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're continuing our Wi-Fi series with the example of cracking a WPA pre-shared key. Now, as you guys know, we started by diving into uh, PSK Brute Force with John the Ripper and a previously captured four-way handshake, but since then we've dialed it back and covered promiscuous mode, monitor mode in terms of packet sniffing, and how MAC addresses come into play here. Well, what I'd like to do now is cover the ingredients we'll need for this recipe of passphrase cracking delightfulness. So, let's begin with the terms. Now, as I've mentioned, our wireless NIC is in monitor mode. I can do that by issuing airmon tac ng start uh, WLAN1. This is just one of the six modes that our wireless NIC can operate in. The other five are master, managed, ad hoc, mesh, and repeater. Now, a wireless NIC in master mode is often referred to as an access point or a base station. Typically, it's an embedded device with a proprietary OS or maybe just a slimmed down Linux installation set up to provide network access to clients. For example, my wireless, uh, my Wi-Fi Pineapple here, for instance, is set up as an access point. And I can see this by going ahead and issuing iwconfig ath0, it says right here, mode master. Now, if I come back to my local host and issue LSUSB, I can see that I have my trusty old Realtek 8187L installed. And if I check AirDriver Tech NG loaded, I can see that I've got the Mac 802.11 drivers. Now, with this, I know that I can use the IW command to check the card's capabilities. And I just need to know the physical ID first. So, running Airmon Tech NG, I can see that my real tech here, WLAN1, is PHY1. So, if running IW space PHY, PHY1 info, it'll show me all of its supported modes. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, that's a lot of output. Now, typically I've been piping this output to more or less, but today I'm going to pipe it to grep. Now, grep is just going to show me what I'm asking for. And in this instance, what I'm looking for is the word modes. Now, if I issue IW, PHY, PHY1, info, and then pipe that to grep, modes, it yields a match. But as you can see, it's, you know, it's, I, I'm gonna need a few lines past that. So for that, I will tack on A8 to see eight lines following. So, once again, grep, tack, capital A, eight, modes, there we go. Now it shows me that my card only supports managed and monitor modes. So that brings us to managed. Interfaces in managed mode, also known as infrastructure mode, are considered the clients or stations, that is to say the devices connecting to access points. So your laptop, your Nintendo DS, your iPhone. Now to connect to my open access point here, I can issue iwconfig, WLAN1 mode managed. Then I can issue iwconfig WLAN1 ESSID pineapple. And if I check it with iwconfig WLAN1, I can see here that I've actually associated with the access point pineapple. And I can see the access point BSSID there. Now in just a bit, we're gonna find out about the last three modes and our special giveaway. But first, let's take a quick break. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. Your computer crashes, gets infected with the virus, you drop it, there's fire, theft, alien abduction, but if you get Carbonite Online backup before your disaster, then no need to worry, because your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site, and it's really easy to get them back. Plus, you can get to them anytime, anywhere. Just access your files from a computer or on your smartphone or iPad with the free Carbonite app. With Carbonite, unlimited backups for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than $5 a month. But when you use the offer code HAK5 to start your free 15-day trial, you get two months free if you decide to buy. All the details are over at Carbonite.com. And remember to use the coupon code HAK5 to get two months free with purchase. Now, ad hoc, also known as peer-to-peer, -peer, is a mode where wireless devices can communicate with each other without a need for a centralized base station or access point. 
And this can be really useful for small groups of devices in close proximity, but of course the performance will decrease as the number of devices increase. Now, for all of the devices on an ad hoc network to communicate with each other, they all must assume the same ESS ID. Now, to set up my interface, I'll issue, uh, let's see, iwconfig wlan0 channel1 ESS ID my ad hoc network, and then mode add hoc. Okay, so if I issue iwconfig wlan0 here, I can actually see there we go, my ESS ID is my ad hoc network. My mode here is ad hoc. I can see my frequency, there we go. Now, I can tell here that my cell is not associated, and that's because my radio is the only one on this ad hoc network. I know, how sad. Well, I would tell WLAN 1 to actually join WLAN 0 so they could both party together, but as we discovered just a moment ago, WLAN 1, this guy here, only supports managed and monitor mode. I know. At least it supports monitor mode. Now, the next wireless mode is mesh. You can think of a mesh as sort of a planned ad hoc network. Mesh networks or mesh clouds are comprised of radios acting as routers, gateways, clients. And in a mesh network, nodes can communicate as long as they all have at least one common connection. For example, node A can talk to node C if they're both within range of node B. Likewise, if a node were to go down, a mesh can actually heal itself by routing through the other nodes in the network. Okay, we could probably do an entire series on mesh networking itself, but suffice it to say, that's the gist. Now, our final mode is repeater. A wireless interface in repeater mode can be configured to connect to a wireless network and then repeat the signal. The practical application here is to extend the range of a single access point. All right, now before I get going, I want to pose a question here. With an OUI of 00E04C, who's the manufacturer of this USB Wi-Fi adapter? Be the first to answer in the comments and we'll ship it to you. All right, and as always, we value your feedback and your suggestions. So if you have a tip to share with me, email tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust. Welcome to Hat Tip. No, actually, let's not do that.